Hi, everybody. We have had an exponential increase in insomnia. Insomnia. And wow, it's become a multi billion dollar industry. Sleep aids, just sleep aids. Do you now understand why they use sleep deprivation as torture? Sleep deprivation stops brain cells firing properly, changing how we see the world. With all of the electromagnetic microwave frequencies that are disrupting people's sleep, well, when you think about critical thinking skills and the, the lack of those skills that so many Americans seem to be demonstrating these days, there are so many different causes, but sleep deprivation is one of them. Sleep deprivation stops brain cells communicating properly and affects how people see the world around them. The new research, which, which has serious implications for driving while tired, shows that parts of the brain actually turn themselves off to rest even though a person is still awake. Brain scans of sleep-deprived people by scientists at the University of California, Los Angeles, have shown for the first time that fatigue disrupts the speed the brain cells communicate and prevents memories being encoded properly. It also causes temporary lapses in memory and vision. You guys having problems with your memory? You guys having problem with your vision? You guys having problem sleeping? Starving the body of sleep also robs neurons of the ability to function properly. It paves the way for cognitive lapses in how we perceive and react to the world around us. Well, I will say that the cumulative effect of not sleeping properly, and I'll speak for myself, is absolutely affecting my brain power. Here, this was posted March 2016. Navy secretly conducting electromagnetic warfare training on Washington roads. And I posted a video on this on uh, Kafka Winston World, but I'm going to connect it to the video that I took here in South Carolina yesterday. But without public not notification of any kind, the U.S. Navy has secretly been conducting electromagnetic warfare testing and training on public roads in western Washington state for more than five years. They found this out via a Freedom of Information Act request. The Navy itself has produced a medical study showing that exposure to electromagnetic radiation causes a myriad, a myriad of human health problems including corneal damage, tubular degeneration of testicles, brain heating, sterility, altered penile function, death, cranial nerve disorders, seizures, convulsions, depression, insomnia, chest pain, and even sparking between dental fillings. Other reports by the U.S. Air Force, NASA, medical doctors, and scientific publications confirm these and other deleterious effects, health effects, that would result from the Navy's electromagnetic weaponry arsenal, in addition to large-scale negative impacts on birds, aquatic life, and other biota. Upsetting, isn't it? This article, this is in 2014. Documents show Navy's electromagnetic warfare training would harm humans and wildlife. So why are, or why is the Navy conducting these exercises where the public are? The Western Olympic Peninsula. 
Um, Dr. Martin Paul, a professor emeritus of biochemistry and medical sciences with Washington State University. He has written several peer-reviewed papers on the subject of how electromagnetic radiation of various levels impacts human beings. As well, he has given international lectures on the subject. And Paul states that the claims that the Navy have made are completely untrue. The Navy, even though it has funded studies to find out the biological effects of the electromagnetic microwave frequencies that we are now saturated in, and those studies have shown a wide range of health effects, it comes out and states to the public, it's safe. Navy personnel have been met with outrage, anger, and a growing concern from the public about the negative health impacts to humans and wildlife in the areas where their war games are planned. Now, understand this. War games are being conducted all over the world, especially in Western nations. Electronic warfare is being conducted on Americans every single day. But Paul, who had authored a paper titled Electromagnetic Fields Act Via Activation of Voltage-Gated Calcium Channels to Produce Beneficial or Adverse Effects. Beneficial Effects. I will link below to this study, um, which the reason why I'm including this in this video is because there's an awful lot of people who leave comments. They would never do this because it harms them as well. You get those comments from people when we talk about the chemtrails, the geoengineering, or these microwave frequencies. They would never allow these microwave frequencies if they harmed us. Come on. They harm themselves then, right? Why would they do that? These frequencies can have a beneficial effect or an adverse effect. They use these frequencies to benefit their own health while we are subjected to frequencies that are causing adverse effects. Yes, there's an awful lot of evil people in the world who are behind this technology. They know the effects. Hence, they use it to cause adverse effects. And it certainly does enhance the profits of the pharmaceutical industry, of the medical industry. So, what else did Paul say? According to Paul, a NASA study and more than 1,000 other scientific reports and studies, the health impacts of even the Navy's lowest levels of electromagnetic radiation emissions are shocking. Shocking. So the Navy claims that there is no conclusive evidence that EMF radiation harms humans or wildlife due to inconsistent data and collecting uh, or conflicting reports on the subject, and yet the Navy has funded studies that have shown conclusively that EMF radiation, even at low levels, has a profound adverse effect on life itself, but certainly our health. Here is that Navy study. It is 25 pages, and if you have not read this, I suggest that you click on the link below, Bibliography of Reported Biological Phenomena, Effects, and Clinical Manifestations Attributed to Microwave and Radio Frequency Radiation. This has been, this is so incredibly dangerous. We are saturated in dangerous frequencies 
And here you can see all of the biological effects that the Navy knows about. So why is the Navy conducting electronic warfare in areas in Washington state where the public frequent? And I've posted videos on this before, um, right here, the, the myriad of effects is so astounding. Heating of the organs, the whole body, the skin, bone and bone marrow, lenses of the eye, the brain, the sinuses, dry eye, dry sinuses, brain fog, changes in physiologic function, alteration of blood vessels, liver enlargement, altered sensitivity to drug stimuli, altered menstrual activity, altered fetal development, changes in conditioned reflexes, alterations in the biocurrents of the cerebral cortex, alterations in sensitivity to light, sound, and olfactory stimuli, electrocardiographic changes, functional and pathological changes in the eyes, myocardial necrosis, generalized degeneration of all body tissue, death, dehydration, altered rate of calcification of certain tissue, the central nervous system affects headaches, insomnia, insomnia, restlessness, cranial nerve disorder, cranial nerve disorders, seizures, convulsions, you know, we have an exponential increase in people who are suffering the consequences of everything that I just read. And our military knows the causes. Aut autonomic nervous system effects, neurovegetative disorders, alteration of heart rhythm, fatigue, stimulation of parasympathetic nervous system, inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system, psychological disorders, general bad feeling, depression, impotence, anxiety, lack of concentration, hypochondria, dizziness, hallucinations, sleeplessness, insomnia, increased irritability, decreased appetite, loss of memory, scalp, sensations, increase, fatigability, chest pain, tremors of the hands, and behavioral changes, reflexive, operant, avoidance, discrimination, blood disorders, right here, vascular disorders, right here, enzyme and other biochemical changes, right here, metabolic disorders, gastrointestinal disorders, anxiety, um, anorexia, sorry, constipation, stomach digestive juices, secretion of, endocrine gland changes, altered pituitary function, hypothyroid, hypothyroidism, thyroid enlargement, altered adrenal cortex activity, histological changes, genetic and chromosomal changes, miscellaneous effects, sparking between dental fillings, peculiar, peculiar metallic taste in mouth, changes in optical activity of collodial solutions, treatment for syphilis, 
skin diseases, loss of hair, brittleness of hair, sensations of buzzing, vibrations, pulsations, tickling about the head and ears, copious perspiration, salvation, protrusion of tongue, changes in the operation of implanted cardiac pacemakers, changes in circadian rhythms, You can read this assessment of the possible health effects of ground wave emergency network. Our military funded this study. This comes from the ground wave frequencies from our emergency network, the Gwen Towers. The effects are, there's a myriad effects. So now we're talking about effects from Gwen Towers that are littered all over the country the microwave electromagnetic frequencies don't only come from Gwen Towers but cell towers and cell phones and smart meters and Wi-Fi and baby monitors and all of the electronic gadgets that so many now just proliferate their life with. Effects of pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields on human sleep, smart meters, Wi-Fi, pulse high frequency electromagnetic fields. So why do we have an exponential increase in people experiencing insomnia, sleep problems, waking up feeling fatigued, never getting that that REM stage that is so important, so vital to having a good night's sleep and waking up feeling refreshed? Because these pulse frequencies deprive us of our REM stage. Human disease resulting from exposure to electromagnetic fields. Electromagnetic fields. The issue is more important than ever given the rapid increase in the use of cell phones and other wireless devices. This review summarizes the evidence stating that excessive exposure to magnetic fields from power lines and other sources of elect electric current increases the risk of development of some cancers and neurodegenerative diseases and that excessive exposure to RF radiation increases risk of cancer, male infertility, neurobehavioral abnormalities, the relative impact of various sources of exposure, the great range of standards for EMF exposure and the cost of doing nothing are also discussed. Link below to this article, Electronic Weapons, Radio Frequency Radiation, Remote Manipulation of the Human Nervous System, an open letter to the European Commission. We are missing a legislation which would ban the purposeful remote manipulation of the human nervous system and organisms, including remote killing of people. Guess what? Our Navy has done a study. They know that this microwave electromagnetic smog that we are saturated in 24-7 can manipulate the nervous system. The effects of radar on human body. Studies conducted by our Army. Radio frequency radiation research summary updated. Summary of studies that have found that electromagnetic microwave frequencies affect adversely our health, and this PDF is 606 pages long of summaries of studies. So when our government officials say there are no studies out there that have determined that there are adverse effects to our health, slap them in the face with this document and our defense intelligence agencies funding studies biological effects of electromagnetic radiation radio waves and microwaves so yes these frequencies are being used against us purposely however those who know and are part of the purposeful 
use of these weapons, and they are weapons, the frequencies coming from cell towers and all of these electronic gadgets, TVs, computer screens, Wi-Fi, cell phones, smart meters, why do we have Wi-Fi in schools? Well, because they are programming children with the use of these frequencies, causing an awful lot of damage. But for those who leave comments, they would never do this because they would only be harming themselves. Understand they can use these frequencies to either, you know, stabilize their health, their good health, or to enhance their immune systems and their health. This, look, those of us who are really suffering from all of this, yes, we are now very upset. So when the Navy claims that there's no conclusive evidence, it's really shocking that Americans are, they will believe what they hear from their government officials and they will refuse to look at any facts, evidence, they won't take it in. They won't take it in. And all of the industry, the telecommunication industries, those studies, they're lying through their teeth. And then they say, well, how could they po possibly publish a study that is all lies? They not understanding that our medical journals have been taken over. Editors have quit. Editors of medical journals, the most prestigious, the New England Journal of Medicine. Can't remember her name, but she quit. And she publicly came out and said, I cannot do this anymore. Because essentially, and this is my paraphrasing, we are publishing lies. So I also want to point out that it is not just the two-legged. Sorry, my computer is pretty slow. I will link below to this towards better health, and it has a lot of study or articles and studies on the effects of microwave electromagnetic um, frequencies. But it's not just people. It's all life, trees, bees, insects, dogs, cats, domestic, wild animals. And for those of you who have been recognizing that your dogs and cats, your animals are struggling, you might want to come over here and read this article, A Dog's Life Because of the Mobile Phone Antenna. Animals know nothing about electro smog. They just get sick from it. And the sickness could be a whole range. A whole range. It, it affects the health of dogs, cats, horses, cats. It's very sad to see what our... what our environment has become so saturated with dangerous poisons and to listen to so many people who are greatly affected greatly affected and yet so many of them and I know because I've experienced this won't get rid of their Wi-Fi when you try to tell people that their Wi-Fi might be causing their problems they don't care it's as if they have kind of taken away our survival instinct but this human sleep problem here now, I will tell you, I know that because I have not had a decent night's sleep since medications put on the market is safe, destroyed that in me, I have literally been going for probably 17 years, no joke, 
having great difficulty sleeping. Yes, these uh, psychotropics, these psychiatric medications that they're handing out to anyone and children, middle-aged, elderly, these medications are affecting our brains, creating where there once was natural processes, creating these synthetic processes that are killing off our brain cells, destroying the uh, synaptic connection between the neurotransmitters. And yes, there's an awful lot of psychiatric medications that deplete melatonin. So, speaking for myself, when I first I, I, before making that mistake of stepping into a psychiatrist's office, I slept beautifully. My God, put my head down on a pillow. And if I had to wait 10 minutes before I fell asleep, that was a lot. Woke up feeling well rested. All of that has been destroyed. Permanent. Permanent destruction, but with these microwave frequencies. This electronic warfare being conducted, not just in Washington State, not just by the Navy, but all over, not just in the United States, but in many countries around the world. It is having a profound, profound adverse effect on all of our health. I have received more comments from people really struggling and I want to tell you that I get it. I get that you can do so many different things. You can spend so much money trying to feel better and no matter what you do, you're stuck living in an environment where our militaries, whatever country you're living in, they are using this electronic warfare. We are at war. They are killing us. They are destroying our health. It's the slow kill. They're also destroying our ability to think properly, to critically think leaving us fatigued, exhausted, so that we are not capable of fighting the real enemy, causing confusion, causing an awful lot of emotional problems with people, either depression or anger, anxiety, fear, keeping us all exactly where they want us, on our knees. The frequencies make themselves visible all the time here in Anderson, South Carolina, even when you don't see any of this artificial cloud substance in the sky. If you look really, really closely, you can see the waves. This is electronic warfare conducted over Anderson, South Carolina, made visible, made visible, visible to all Americans. Well, those here in Anderson, South Carolina, but to all Americans, because this is not just here in Anderson, South Carolina. You see it all of the time where you are. Electronic warfare, brilliant, a brilliant weapon. Look at that. Look at that discoloration. I am feeling the effects. I know that a lot of you are feeling the effects. And unfortunately, we don't have, we have not reached the critical mass of awakening. 
to have any hope to get this stopped. Anyway, I just, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm so sorry to all who are suffering the consequences.